and welcome to this lesson of ARCHICAD template uh, creation. So in this lesson, we're gonna go deeper into the layers. So you can find the go to options, element attributes, and then layer settings. And so let's talk about a little bit about how layers work and um, kind of how you should set them up. So right off the bat, out of the box, ARCHICAD has kind of a predefined layer combination set um, that could or could not work for you. Uh, most people are really particular about how their layers are, how they exist, and how they can be set up. So uh, with that, I, I find that having all the layers within my template, starting with the as the, um, I guess the prefix, as the, uh, the, uh, the specialty, I guess, or the, which division, you know, whether it's architecture or civil engineering or mechanical, structural and stuff like that, starting with an A or whatever, I find that to be a little bit cumbersome um, for my own personal taste. So I actually get rid of that. I would, you know, at the minimum, put it at the end. Um, I don't think you could do that all at once, but yeah, so I could just do that all at once and kind of adjust that. So I'm just gonna take those out and then put an A at the end. Um, and then I'm gonna do the same for my civil stuff. And then same with electrical. Again with the landscaping. Um, now the reason I prefer not to have my uh, prefix as the letter is because there's a pretty unique um, searching capability that you can do. So let's just find a couple here that are a little bit easier to manipulate and then a little bit more representative of, of what I am trying to show you here. So I'm just gonna make these adjustments. I'm gonna take out these prefixes out of here. It's a little bit cumbersome. Okay, um, let's just take out one more. So, you know, so when you do this, so say I'm going to create a wall. Say that wall is on my, uh, I want it to be on floor. Um, so if I s type in here, floor, and um, you can't really see it, but let me just open it this way. Um, maybe this will be better. Um, it's a little bit hidden off the screen. Um, so you can't really see it, but if I start typing um, letters within my, off, off my keyboard, it will isolate the letters that represent what I was just typing. So it makes it a little bit easier. So just for instance, if I type floor, um, it's already highlighting what I was trying to select. Um, well, let's just put this, let's just do a beam. Um, so it's already on beam because I selected it. But if I type B, it's already highlighting what I'm looking for. So that's why in my layers, I try to get away from um, having that prefix as related to the, um, to the uh, designation of whatever... Um, consultants is doing it. So I'll just get rid of those. Um, and it doesn't make it too confusing still because I have the suffix um, as whatever uh, consultant's going to be doing that work. And so that allows me to kind of um, still isolate stuff, but also not necessarily have to worry about not being able to search within this. So let's talk about a couple different other things within this. So you can have, let's just 
talk about say you know one thing that people do is they have min multiple different options so let's just say for instance you're gonna have floor and we'll just call it a so when i put a period it automatically is going to go to the extension so let's just call this a um, dash two or a dash b because it'll just represent option B of the floor plan. Um, and let's just do one more. So let's just say floor um, A dash C. And I don't know why this is F L O R. Um, so we'll just do that. So let's just create a new layer combination. We'll just say uh, floor plan. B. Okay, so and floor plan B, we're not going to show um, this one. We'll just call this A dash A, and we're not going to show uh, A or C. So that'll be floor plan B, and we'll just update that. And then we'll create a new one that's just floor plan C. Um, okay. So what else I'm going to do here is I'm going to make these be different uh, intersection combinations. And then I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to change these two. So, and I'll show you what this does. So if we'll just show that way. So this is on floor plan A dash A and our layer combination. Um, we'll just put this on floor plan B. So we'll show this layer, and then we'll put this on floor plan C. Okay, so because, and we'll put this just to show an example. So these two are in the same layers. This is on the um, layer A floor dash AC, and this is, these are both on floor dash AB. So we can see because of the layer intersection combination that I've adjusted, which is um, this number here, that makes it so that these two things won't interact. Now why this is good, so I'm just going to open up one of my palettes, the uh, quick options. This allows me to see what layers things are on. So when I put, so now only the uh, floor A dash C is showing up. Now floor dash A B is showing up, but let's just look at something really quickly. So when I have floor dash A B, so what I didn't do, so as you can see here, there's this big open space, and that's because the layer is off, but it's still interacting with that wall. Now, if I change this to, to actually I wanna change what's off to two, and then I'm just gonna update that. So what it just did is it says, okay, well, so let me just turn on all layers. Let's just delete this one. So what it's doing is saying that in this layer combination, that wall is not gonna interact with that other wall. In this layer combination, that wall is not interacting with that wall. Now, if I just turn on everything, 
because the layer interaction combination isn't adjusted in this view, so everything is on right here is all on one, everything interacts. So this is good if you're doing multiple different uh, versions of a floor plan. Um, so that's one key aspect to setting up your layer combinations is if you're going to do options, then maybe the thing to do is adjust these layer intersection combinations so that they're on, on different, um, they're different. And I think this goes all the way up to, let's see, well, goes up pretty high. So you can definitely have a lot of different options that won't interact with one another. So let's just look at one other thing. So I'm just going to adjust this. And when you adjust this, anything that's in here with this highlighted, it'll adjust that um, automatically without having to be updated. So let's just look at, um, let's just turn everything on. So I've just made this so that it's wireframe. Let's look at that really quickly. So if we go to 3D, now what I've done is I've said that anything that's on the A floor AB is wireframe. And we can just look at this right here. A dash B is wireframe. So those layers that are right there are wireframe. Um, so that's really briefly kind of getting into the layers. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching.